welcome everyone. This is Sandra Alexe and from um, my personal muse. That's my website. Okay. I welcome you and I thank you for taking the time to listen to messages from the cosmos. Okay. First of all, if you go underneath, you'll see my website, my personal muse. It says everything that I've done. Um, I'm an author. I'm an educator. Um, author, educator, teacher, spiritual and business coach. Um, you can see the different books that I have written there and, and the different projects that I've done and where I've lived. So now, basically, I've done spiritual work for like a lot of years. And my purpose um, is to be able to assist individuals in helping them through a process of self-discovery, figure out what their purpose is. Are they on track? Um, we all have a destiny. We all have a divine plan, that type of thing. So I use, um, I'm an intuitive astrologer, so I use the, the natal chart and I look at uh, numerology. I put a little bit of May, uh, Mayan astrology in, the galactic um, galactic process or galactic keys if you want to call it anyway that's what i do but the most important thing is i try to give you messages so that you can go with the flow okay because to me we all are going through cycles and we've just we we're going to be finishing a very big cycle um with pluto it's the planet of transformation Real Scorpio, it moved into Capricorn, so we had the total deconstruction of all of the of all the hierarchical systems that weren't working. And right now we're breaking all the enslavement codes, ancestral karmic codes, and personal karma. So it's big time right now. Anyway, we've got lots going on in July and uh uh, the new moon is going to be out there, and I just finished that one in a little while ago, and it will be posted. But anyway, let's go for today. So July 2023 is a very transformative game a changer month with all the intense major cosmic planetary movements. This phase is one in which humanity is called to awaken and raise consciousness, embracing a new way of being. I will give an overview of July and then each major cosmic planetary movement will be dealt with with an individual post on Facebook and the video on YouTube. If you have a natal chart, you may want to check what house or houses of the sign we are going to be discussing as to what area of your life will be affected. So example, we're going to be looking at what house Leo is ruling. Okay, I haven't done this for a while. I've just moved, so I've been kind of in transition. So one of the things that I do do say is, if you go to the top, you'll see Game Changer. Okay, and that's a new model of relationship, and you can order that book on Amazon. Okay, I said below, if you go underneath, you can find the website, my personal news, and have a look. Then... I would really appreciate it if you would like this video. If you comment on the video, then I actually do um, I, a draw for a mini reading once a month. And I'd appreciate it if you would share this video and then if you would subscribe to the channel. I also have a post on my Facebook because a lot of people like to print it off because of the specific dates or if they just want to print it off and reread it. Okay, now we will go. So one of the main attractions of the season is Venus in Leo. And we're stepping into a new outlook. Um, and the new outlook, just one second, let me turn this off. We're stepping into a new outlook. Let's start again. Anyway, one of the main attractions of the season is Venus in Leo. And you're stepping into a new outlook, radiating optimism and confidence. And remember, we all have Leo somewhere in the planet. Okay, Venus is sitting in there right now. Now, a powerful time to shine as Venus moved into Leo at one degree in, in June the 6th until October the 10th. 
when it then moves to zero degrees of Virgo. Mars moves to zero degrees of Virgo on July 11th, a grounded, earthy um, energy that gets her attention and creates awareness on how you are taking care of your health and your well-being. So it's a time to nurture self and create a self-care program. Then on July 17th, we embrace a beautiful, sensitive sturgeon new moon at 27 degrees of Cancer. You can see that one. And these cardinal energies are all about nourishing your soul, new beginnings, and new intentions. So that's kind of the overview. Now, let's talk about Leo and Venus. So Leo is ruled by the sun, and it's filled with passion and flamboyance and the energy of loyalty, courage, strength, protection when it comes to love. As a fire sign, Leo is fiery, vibrant, heartwise, and inspirational. Now, Mercury moves to one degrees of Leo on July 13th also. So now, wow. Then the sun moves to zero degrees of Leo on July 22nd. So next on July 23rd, Venus goes retrograde at 28 degrees of Leo until September the 4th. So when it goes direct at 12 degrees of Leo. And you can expect many astonishing changes in your relationships that will require awareness and flexibility. This is important. Every 18 months, Venus spins retrograde for a 40-day reset. As Venus transitions from being an evening star visible in the sky at dusk to a morning star visible just before dawn. Wowzer. So get ready for lots of retrograde energy, which is all about. So this kind of energy, and we're going to talk about what we're going to reassess. Is it about reassessing, re-editing, reviewing the past? As we tend to move inward to listen to our intuition and our inner compass, getting some clarity because we are figuring and sorting things out. So what are we reassessing and figuring out? Well, Venus is all about love, relationships, beauty, money, value, and self-worth. Finally, an opportunity to put all love stories to bed that are not serving you. And in fact, maybe interfering with your ability to shine and thrive in relationships. So Venus retrograde, okay, encourages you to reevaluate your values and desires in your closest relationships. It's time to assess your health and time to love yourself first. Reclaim time rather than spending it entertaining or pleasing others. You are ready to teach the world how to treat you. Venus Retrocrite is here to show you how to how your life can change when you when you open yourself up to love, truth, and growth. When we prioritize ourselves and act out of love, the whole world benefits as we can embody confidence, wisdom, patience, and kindness. With Venus retrograde, matters of the heart rise to our attention. And we sense a spotlight on relationships. So some challenging truths are exposed, giving you the opportunity for emotional honesty. First of all, with self and others as you experience a deeper heart awakening. This alignment triggers truth, honesty, a moment of clarity, which allows for personal discernment. So personal stuff like self-esteem, how we value self, our personal self-worth and confidence can be affected as you question how you feel about someone else and figure out how they truly feel about you. Part of the assessment process involves listening to what they say. Now, this is important. Always remember, okay, 
always remember most people will tell you what you want to hear. So it's all about evaluating what their actions. Something will be revealed and cleansed and removed as you uncouple with grace in relationships. The book Game Changer, which is all about the new model of Aquarian relationships, has an incredible chapter one on self-discovery. The adage, know thyself and to thine self be true, assists with the self-discovery process. Chapter one has, it's actually interactive. So it has eight areas of 20 questions that you do to understand yourself. Relationships, now remember, are the biggest investment you will ever make up you will ever make wake up because the right one will make you and the wrong one will break you emotionally spiritually intellectually physically and financially okay the next scenario some will be dealing with because they have never really closed out or uncoupled will be the need or desire to go back to old relationships Beware, figure out the lesson, as sometimes the ex is an ex for a reason. The next <clears throat> is when you're involved in multiple relationships and cannot decide, just like in a candy store. So you're actually living a double life, juggling relationships, which can drain energy, create confusion, and build karma. You have a chance to embrace integrity and emotional honesty as you embrace authenticity with self and others that you're involved with. The new model of Aquarian monogamous relationships described in Game Changer has individuals creating interdependent relationships as each soul is now totally independent and whole. Okay, so because of of balance of the left and right brain, head, heart, hair, and the feminine and masculine energies. Enjoying the holistic energy rather than the host. So in, in your, in your um, codependent relationships, there's usually a host. And then there's a parasite or an, an, a manipulative energy vampire. Okay. Where someone's a taker and the other's a giver. Why? Because there's a lack of usually self-worth. Time to balance the masculine and feminine within the right hemisphere is okay to bridge all of this Aquarian energy. As you build your self-confidence and embrace your authenticity, you start to be concerned with self, not from an ego energy, but from a loving and honoring self. So you start to shine and you enjoy serendipitous opportunities. You feel stability in your foundation, and with grace and ease, you assess your personal material and monetary goals and life goals. Some hard decision, possibly painful realizations happen when it comes to relationships and how we choose to play in or with. How it affects you personally and others' karma. Interesting times. As... We're already embracing the North Node in Aries, nodal axis of Aries Libra, which starts to let July 17 and lasts for 18 months. The Aries North Node about is about independence, and the South Node, which we're letting go of, is about dependence. And I'll have a special one on that. So now, thank you so much for taking the time. I would totally appreciate it if you would like if you would comment, if you would share, and if you would subscribe to the channel. And um, many blessings and much love and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful energy. Thank you so much.